Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan, and today we're in a different location. Today we're in a hotel. If you have not seen before, I have been mentioning that I'm going up to watch the Tennessee South Carolina game this weekend at Newland Stadium. And so the hotel will be up before the game. So let's give an analysis, my analysis of the game or a preview to the game, in my opinion, of it. I'll be trying to get some coverage of it while the game's going on, maybe posting some things. We'll see what I'll do the best I can. I'll do the best I can possibly can do. But this game here is very important for Tennessee and South Carolina. Tennessee's come off a win against UTSA, and they look they look solid against UTSA, starting up 28-0. First play of the game was a Joe Milton touchdown run, which was a very nice thing to see because we haven't got much of that this year, seeing Joe Milton get these runs, these especially those big runs. And I think that might show the offense that he can run a lot for long periods. For not just for these four or five yard runs, but Gene Lee can break off an 80 yard run. He has that type of speed that run these safeties. So Melvin did take a little bit of a interesting hit at one point that was around the legs. Hopefully that doesn't bother him much. He had a full week to recover. So hopefully he doesn't get hit around the same spot of the leg that he got the injury from before. But another thing we saw from UTSA games that the defense is pretty good to start off. Let's slow down a bit. UTSA looked like they might come back a little bit and they make it somewhat interesting and then they, Tennessee just took care of business like they should. They've taken care of business all three home games. The only time they have struggled, very much struggled, was against Florida. And you have to take them stuff with Florida and you have to evaluate and move it on. And the main problem against Florida that we had was, first of all, getting off on third downs and secondary. The defense, rush defense, was not bad, but if you can't cover these level of receivers for Florida, then what are you going to do against South Carolina? They're going to have problems against South Carolina off guarding the secondary, which means they're going to have to get after the quarterback. They've shown signs being able to get after the quarterback. Last year they showed signs. This year they showed signs. But can you do it against this offensive line? It'll be interesting to see. One thing we got to take away from the South Carolina team, though, is that just last week Rattler went like 17 for 17 to start off the game. And until the third or fourth quarter, he didn't miss a throw. So he was very accurate that game because Mississippi State could not get much pressure on him. And he could just dink and dunk and just throw his open guys 15, 20 yards on the field. He was throwing it anywhere and was making it work. And, we, and if you're Tennessee, you cannot allow that. You cannot allow those simple plays to work. Because if you allow those to work, then you can't stack the box. One thing about South Carolina, if you let the run game work, the offense is going to destroy you. Rattler last year had a phenomenal, arguably perfect performance against Tennessee. And this is Tennessee's revenge year, specifically against South Carolina. This is the revenge game. They decided to wear their dark uniforms, which last year they wore against Kentucky, and they beat them by 38. So these uniforms might mean, like, we're going to kill y'all when you play us type of mentality heading into these type of games. And heading into this one, they're also, I'm pretty sure they're doing something for the I'm pretty 25 year anniversary of the 1998 team hopefully that'll be very hopefully that's a good thing for them I think that's a good thing for them to do hopefully that goes well then you also it's a night game it's at 7 30. this is all playing into the favor of what happened last year with this Tennessee game against South Carolina with South Carolina there was a night game crowd wild up I'm pretty sure it's their last senior day or last home game of the year and they just dominated against Tennessee, put up 63 on a defense that wasn't bad, but showed a lot of signs of just, what are you doing? Like when they played Pitt, when they played Bama, but he didn't think that was going to happen against South Carolina, but it did. You can't let that happen again. This year, you have to, you cannot let Rattler just get comfortable. When Rattler gets comfortable, you have a performance like against Mississippi State. When you make Rattler uncomfortable and you get him stops, you get more of what happened in the second half against Georgia and the second half against North Carolina. And a lot more of those. One of those that he can get drives going, because he's Spencer Rattler, he's actually very good at getting those drives, but then you stop him on third down. And you have to make them decisive on, are they going to go for them fourth down or do we punch, try to kick a long field goal? And they usually go for it, and, they, and then you got to get your stops at that point. So your defense, got to you got to hold up. They're going to get those drives in, they're going to get close, they're going to get some touchdowns, but you're going to have to hold up and make sure when they get past the 50-yard line, everything after that at bare minimum is a struggle. We'd love for you to stop them before, but we're thinking a lot, I'm thinking, trying to think logically here. 
because I'll probably have a tough time of stopping them the whole way through. For Tennessee, what you got to do is stop running these screen passes so much. Get these, get, get Samson in open space running the ball. Get Jamari Small. Get Jalen Wright. Get Squirrel White on these end arounds. I've been talking about last week. I would love to see Squirrel White just get the ball in the backfield off an end around and just let him outrun everyone. He runs almost 24 miles, 24 miles per hour, 23 miles per hour. He is so fast. Let him run. If you don't trust Joe May to throw deep, I don't know why he wouldn't because he's actually not that bad at it this year. He's shown a lot more signs of it actually working than not. Just give Squirrel White the ball in the backfield and let him run. Give him up in space off of that. Trust your guys to block. Brew McCoy's your physical guy. He's a great guy at that. Let him run through people. Simple stuff like that. Ramel Keen's had an on and off year. I wouldn't trust, I wouldn't, I wouldn't rely on him, but like Dante Thornton, he's had an on and off year, but when he's really good, he's getting wide open on these type of plays. And you got to open the you gotta open the playbook. You showed that a little bit last week, and you showed that at the end of the game against Florida, and it was clicking. Everything was clicking. Had some bad no calls against Florida that really went against us, but... Again, we lost and we just we got we just didn't decide to run our good the good side of our offense until the last like ten minutes of the game, which I don't I don't understand. But again, South Carolina, this is a must win game for Tennessee and South Carolina. Main I think the crowd for Tennessee will be a lot. It will be very tough to handle if you're a South Carolina team. Trying to go in there and trying to win this game. That's going to be super tough for y'all to be able to do. Tennessee, you just got to continue what you've been doing. You were undefeated at home last year. I think you were 3 one three in a row this year. Make that four. Continue that because you're on the stretch that you have to play them. You have to play South Carolina and then a and Then you got out on the road against Bama. So if you clinch, you lock up your home games, you be 5-1. and one. South Carolina, if you win this game, you'd be 3-2. and two, But you've already got your toughest part of the season out the way. And now you're looking towards these games of maybe we can win out a couple of these games. Maybe we can do a little bit more than the season we expected. I don't know fully. Only time will tell. But this game, very important for both teams. I think it's more important for Tennessee than the other time. I think this game could be close. But I think with the environment that Tennessee is going to be playing in, I think the way that should be playing, honoring the 98 team, in the dark uniforms, they are all out for this game. This is a revenge game they've marked on their calendar to start their year. Tennessee needs this win more, and I think they will get this win. I got the score being, let's go with 35-21. to 21. I think South Carolina will score. I think they will get on the board, but I think their offense of Tennessee will do enough, will do a lot, actually a lot more. And I've always talked before, key stops. I think Tennessee will be able to get those key stops that South Carolina just couldn't be able to do. I wouldn't be surprised if this game's close heading into the fourth quarter, then Tennessee pulls ahead. If South Carolina pulls ahead, I'd be shocked. But I think Tennessee's going to be able to get those key stops that we weren't able to to start off the year. I think this would be a big turnaround for them. I got Tennessee winning this one again, 35-21. So, yeah, hope you all have a great day. Stay safe, y'all. Watch this game tomorrow. It comes out at 730. And, yeah, hope you have a great week. God and God bless y'all.